The goal of this flying robot is to reproduce the amazing capabilities of insects, especially the fact that they can collide into things and continue flying afterwards. To reproduce this, we realized that we could put a lot of intelligence in the mechanics by having this rotating frame around the inner frame that always remains stable even when there are collisions. So this allows us to send the robot in very difficult environments, for example for search and rescue missions where there are lots of obstacles. And we can do that without complex obstacle avoidance techniques so that we have a very lightweight platform. The novelty of this platform is its rotating protective frame. It decouples uh, the inner frame with all the stabilization system and avionics so that when a collision occurs, the inner frame remains stable and only the outer frame rotates. To test our robot, we flew it completely autonomously through a forest. We just gave it a magnetic direction and without any obstacle avoidance technique, it was able to fly for several hundred meters while encountering multiple collisions with trees. Designing and building a flying platform like this is very challenging. The first challenge that I had to face with is the weight. That's why I built this robot with the carbon fiber materials. The second one is the uh, balance, so the robot could remain stable after the collision. The main advantages of this platform is that it is very robust and lightweight. And that's because it doesn't need heavy and complex sensors for obstacle avoidance. In fact, this robot can even use collisions and have the obstacle guide it. We think that this platform will allow rescuers to access places that no other robot can access. And we hope that one day we'll be able to achieve the amazing capabilities of insects.